Located in Chertsey near London, Fort Park Resort is one of the most popular theme parks in England as it boasts a huge collection of roller coasters, flat rides and water rides. But with all of that being said, what are the best rides there? Here's my opinion. Only just making the top 10 is Walking Dead the ride. Now I will be honest here, this ride gets way too much hate. I know that the ride now is pretty bland, but considering how it used to be a family coaster, that is to be expected. I like how it has a pre-show and even though it's a bit cheesy, it's a nice touch and really makes you feel suspense. I'll admit that the first half of the ride is pretty bland and boring, but the second half is actually pretty good and I love how they've used a variety of special effects to create a ride that is quite fun and reasonably suspenseful. Is Walking Dead the ride better than X? No, but I do still enjoy it and you should definitely check it out if it's on a lower queue. For number 9 I've chosen Darren Brown's Ghost Train Rise of the Demon. Now I am aware that this is a controversial one, but when all of the effects work, this attraction can actually be quite fun and I really do love how it combines virtual reality and live action to create something that is really unique and enjoyable. Whilst it's not the scariest ride out there, it does still hold up in my opinion and it can actually be kind of scary, especially when there's a lot of actors around. This ride will definitely leave you with a lot of questions, especially after your first time on it, so if you haven't experienced it then I really do suggest that you check it out at least once, spoiler free, as it can be quite fun when you ride it for the first time. Alright, number 8 is Rush, the park's SNS Screaming Swing. This ride is the true definition of simple but effective, as it is just a glorified swing, but this is actually one of the most fun rides at Fort Park. During its short ride cycle, you can get some really nice views, and I love how you're able to fully feel the speed and force on it due to the fact that it has a really comfortable lap bar. The ride may not be thrilling, but it really does get the adrenaline pumping, so it's definitely earned that number 8 spot. I just realised how cringy I sounded there. So number 7 on this list is Samurai which is a Mondale top scan. Now the attraction itself may look very basic, but believe me when I say that this ride is absolutely insane. During the ride cycle you're constantly being thrown about and that's why I love it so much, as it offers something that no other ride at Thought Park can. I would rank this ride higher but sometimes you can get good rides on it and sometimes you can get boring ones on it as the cycles do always change which makes this ride quite hard to rank. Samurai isn't the best flat that I've ridden but it is really fun and it's worth riding at least once. For number 6 I've chosen Saw the Ride, a Gert Slauer Eurofighter themed to the popular Saw movie franchise. I'm just going to put it out there, this coaster is really fun and just because it's at number 6 it doesn't mean that the ride is bad, it has a great and really well themed dark ride section that features a surprisingly good drop and some really great near misses that do get the ride going. The outdoor section is just as fun, the beyond vertical drop is very thrilling and the airtime hill before the mid course packs quite a punch and is definitely the ride's highlight. Saw the ride is really fun but the roughness of the coaster ruins it and makes it less enjoyable, hence why it's a bit lower down in the list. This might be a surprise to a lot of you but for number 5 I've chosen Detonator Bombs Away. This is easily the best drop tower that I've ridden and that really does say a lot considering how small it is. The views that you can get from the top are great and the drop is really forceful pulling up to 5.5 Gs and the airtime that you feel when coming down is unreal and it's definitely stronger than any airtime that I felt on a roller coaster. Detonator may be the most simple ride on park but that doesn't stop it from being really fun and I do suggest that you check it out. One ride that is really overhated in my opinion is Colossus which is the park's 10 inversion coaster. Despite how rough it is, this ride is actually really fun and features some of the best hang time that I've ever experienced on a roller coaster. The quadruple barrel roll is insane and there's even a couple of near misses and a great airtime movement that really does solidify the ride for me. I also love how Colossus interacts with the area around it and it does get quite close to some of the footpaths making it really fun to watch off ride. My only complaint about this coaster is the cobra roll which can bash your head around quite a bit but if you do keep your head forward, it isn't too bad. So yeah, Colossus, it's a great ride and it is really overhated, but you know, that's just my opinion. 
For number 3 I've chosen the Swarm. Now I will admit that this ride is really overrated in my opinion, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying it. I think that the first drop is amazing and I really like how the ride relies on a good variety of near misses and special effects to make a ride that really does feel complete. I also love how the ride is set on its own island and the atmosphere around the coaster is quite unique because of it. My only issue with the swarm is its restrictive restraints that make it harder to feel any force and because of this it's only just made it into my top 3 but I can definitely see why other enthusiasts rate this coaster so highly. So for number 2 I've chosen Nemesis Inferno which is the park's B&M inverted coaster. Now I will admit that having it at number 2 is a bit controversial but I'm just going to put it out there, I love this ride. It's forceful, fast and the scenery around it is really nice which is a bonus in my opinion. Something that I find great about Nemesis Inferno is that it's enjoyable in every row, you get some really nice views at the front and at the back you can really feel the speed and g-forces. If I were to use one word to describe this coaster, it would be insane. This is one of the only coasters that I've greyed out on which does say quite a lot, then again I might have been dehydrated. Is it the best invert out there? No, but it's definitely the most underrated coaster in the UK and it's definitely earned the number 2 spot on this list. So for number 1 I've chosen Stealth which is the park's Intamin launch coaster. It's a known fact that this ride is very short, but the short duration is more than made up for with this coaster's rewritability and how much it packs in within such a small time limit. One of Stealth's main features is its launch and it's easily one of the best launches that I've ridden due to the quick acceleration and how much force you get on it, making it really memorable and enjoyable. Another great thing about Stealth is the strong airtime that you can get on the Top Hat and Bunny Hop, and the fact that you get a lot of airtime on this coaster is pretty amazing considering how restrictive and uncomfortable the restraints are. In my opinion, the real cherry on top for this coaster would have to be its theme. Stealth Plaza is meant to resemble a 1960s speedway, and this is complemented by the ride's cheerful soundtrack and its trains that are meant to resemble a 50 sports car. This ride really does tick all of the boxes for me as I love forceful launches and airtime, so it would be kind of rude not to have it at 1, plus this was my first major roller coaster, so it will always be special to me. Thank you everyone so so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like it would be greatly appreciated and if you want to see more videos and like this then be sure to subscribe. If your list is a bit different to mine then let me know in the comments down below, I read every comment so hopefully your lists aren't as controversial as mine, I can just uh, feel the dislikes coming in. Anyway, once again thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video, yeehaw!